This one's moving. I can move this one now. At the two-mile claim in northern British Columbia, well, he'll move those two rocks and dig a bit. The Jade City crew continues to pull boulders from a promising pit they've been focused on all season. It's chunky. This one's chunky. Got in with the Jade thing with them three years ago and so hooked on Jade now it's not even funny. Everybody calls it mining, we call it treasure hunting. Where you want? Right there? Right here. Robin and Guy inspect the rocks as Gary adds them to a growing pile. We got a couple good chunks of it. Yep. Running out of room, we got so much Jade. As boulder after boulder is stacked up, the crew starts to wonder if they're on the trail of a much larger prize. That one there, going underneath. Right on the end there, yeah? Yeah. Big question that we have in our mind is, is there a big deposit underneath this mountain? Our hope is that it's one huge lens. Yeah, it keeps going underneath that one. We know we got some nice stuff there. That's a heavy rock. Jade, it's like volcanic tubes. Stop it! it starts at the bottom and works its way up. So there's got to be something below. And in theory, it should get better. I think I could pull that big one over. But once we get it over, I don't know if we can move it. I'll push it a little bit. Yep. Give her a couple of these, eh? It's a heavy son of a bitch rock, I'll tell you that. Be very delicate. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> She's over. Bam. <laughs> Surprise the old girl pulled it. That's a 90-ton rock. <whistles> jingling, jingling. This could be the tip of the huge lens Robin is hunting for. I think it's solid. Yeah. If the deposit is there, it would change everything for us. This is where we focus, is in here. But she's right there until we can cut her. Yep. It might be their best find ever, but a boulder this size will take weeks to cut into smaller chunks, and they need to start selling jade now.